Peters said during closing arguments that Michael Wilhoyt and Ron Dicko violated a judge's order by putting an inmate on a bus to Florida. The judge's intent was to send the inmate to Eastern State Hospital for psychiatric evaluation and treatment. Wilhoyt and Dicko were charged with complicity to commit kidnapping, custodial interference, and official misconduct. Again, the jury found the men not guilty on all those charges. Their family were hugging them and smiling ear to ear when they heard that news. They were also clapping and some said justice has been served. The defense attorneys say the two men are looking forward to getting back to law enforcement and after going through such a process. Small mistake happened. Instead of dealing with that mistake at the moment it happened or very soon after it happened, it got blown like a snowball rolling down a hill, okay? And so that the only thing we could do, ultimately, the snowball got so big, the only thing they could do was put it on right here in front of the people that live in this county. It was under an hour, and I think that, I think that underscores the lack of evidence of guilt in this case. It didn't take them long to get to the, to the verdict. They knew the, they knew the case, they, they listened to the evidence, and um, I think the evidence of, of innocence was overwhelming in this case. One more